So as we all know, COVID, coronavirus, has such a huge impact on our lives, on the economy, on businesses, and we just don't know where it's going to stop and where it's going to lead to. We can take guesses about what's going to happen, but what we do know is the impact it's had now in terms of jobs and in terms of businesses that have gone broke and bust that cannot sustain themselves. So what is the one thing we can learn coming out of COVID in terms of your business and what you can do? And the one thing I'd strongly suggest is to just focus on digital. Try and pivot your business as much as you can to take advantage of the digital world and selling your products and services online. I know it may not seem intuitive and may not be possible at first, but you have to try and innovate and see how you can make it work in the digital world and build that relationship with that customer. Because as a result of the lockdown, everyone was online whether it's buying, searching, the traffic online. So in terms of the cost of acquisition was a lot cheaper, it was easier to get hold of a lot more people. People's attention were there online and that's their focus was. So you want to be able to be present on there, build your business and make sure you can sell on that platform. Whether it's set up, set up, setting up a shop online, selling your products on there, experiment, do as much as you can. And when you come out of it, you want to try and position your whole business as much as you can on digital, assuming that you won't have a retail business. Of course, there's going to be retail business coming out of this. Uh, it just won't be to the level that we expect it to. The lockdown has forced people to buy things online that they wouldn't have bought previously, whether it's clothes, whether it's furniture. So that friction has been reduced for people to be able to buy online. So once they've done that purchase and set up their account, it's easier for them to do it in future. So there's going to be a massive shift. In fact, what it's done, it's sped up the whole digital process by a few years and quicken the death of retail by a few years at the same time. So whatever you can do to try and maximize your sales online, do it. And it could be coronavirus related or COVID related. I mean, you know, obviously people are online on Zoom calls, team calls, video conferencing. What products can you use that can facilitate things like that? Obviously people at home are doing a lot more furniture shopping because they want to improve their home furniture or their, their, their environment where they work in because uh, they're spending a lot more time there. So sales on those products, or whether it's products that use for video conferencing, whether it's Bluetooth speakers. So try and figure out businesses that are catering to that, because a lot more opportunity. Yes, we've lost businesses and industries as a result of COVID, but as a result of that, there are going to be opportunities coming out of it. So you want to be able to capitalize and maximize from that and learn from that and go into new areas which are going to benefit. So look at the new product categories, whether it's subscription services for hand sanitizers. Yes, there was a lot of shortage in the beginning, but now it's beginning to filter out. Maybe we have some USBs in that area that work better, that provide other benefits. Um, you know, furniture in the office, social distancing is going to be a new thing. It's a new way of working with distancing, how with screens, partitions. So look at all other areas, how you can modify or cater your business towards a world that's going to be post-COVID. Um, and try and come out stronger, but really just focus on the digital aspect. You know, that's what I've done with my business as well, in terms of trying to build that relationship with the customer. I already had a good digital team before, because um, that was my goal, but now really trying to maximize on that, building that customer relationship, growing, building that loyalty. Uh, obviously when retail does open, uh, that's gonna be our, our, continue to be our business. But in the meantime, how do you build that, that base with consumers? Because people are gonna be shopping a lot more now online. And the way people are going to work is going to change. I mean, traditionally, you might go for a meeting or pitch a buy on something. It might be a 40-minute drive. You probably won't do that. You're so used to using Teams and Zoom today. It's all going to be done video conferencing online. You're going to be traveling a lot less. Of course, international will travel less on business, but even local city travel is going to be less. People have found the convenience. You save a lot of time. People are not late for meetings anymore because they have that. Obviously, there has to be a balance. But accordingly, you've got to figure out people's change in habits. How can you figure out an opportunity within that, in your category or in your business? And there will be ways, but keep thinking, keep figuring it out, and you will get there.